Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Great Day Houston. You've had a long day, and all you can think about is your head hitting your pillow. Once again, you skipped washing your face, meaning that makeup you had on all day is waking up with you the next morning. It's kind of like leaving the dirty frying pan in the sink all night without soaking or scrubbing it first, right? Okay, well, here to get down and dirty with our skin and make it look new again, please welcome Christy Harris with Christy Harris Yay! Beauty. of why we should not, which by the way, every time I think about like just going to bed and not washing my face, Christy's face pops up over my shoulder and says, wash your face, wash your face, yeah, wash your face. Uh, but before we get into that, I want to talk about the fact that you aren't only in the business industry about how to apply our makeup, but right. you actually set out for the last what, several decades to formulate makeup that makes sense. Like several decades. Yeah, yeah, and skincare. Yes, well, it just makes sense. And what I did is I took it from the biology of the skin and how it works and how does your skin actually function. And I think there's so many women today that are so frustrated, but if they could understand how their skin works to give it what it needs to fix it and then to be able to shop for things that are ingredient-based, not so much potions and lotions, right. but formulation. Yeah, that's why we have a drawer full of stuff that doesn't Absolutely. work. Absolutely, a $1,000 drawer. Yeah. We understand that, a $1,000 drawer, yeah. right? We understand the science behind it. Uh, let's start with oil removal, for example. If we have a right. sheen of oil on our face, that blocks us from uh, other things working. Right, and you have to have oil to take off oil on your skin, mm -hmm. so you can't just use soap to take off because water doesn't break up oil. Okay. Like, for instance, look at this champagne glass. Okay. It is empty. Got okay. Some lipstick it on has it. some lipstick I on know it. Who emptied it though. Well, um, nine o'clock in the morning. Uh, I'll tell you, but. <laughs> But let's, let's, you know, put water off. Well, that's just going to roll off, right? Right. Even if I try and hitting it with my hand, it, it won't yeah, clean resistant. it, right? But if you take uh, a dishwashing soap, it is going to be oil-based because it gets the oil off of our pots and uh -huh. pans and dishes. So you go, see how easy? And that breaks it up. Yeah, like literally... <laughs> They'll use like a dishwashing soap to get oil off of like right. birds that get like, yes. you know, the oil you have on them to and the have oil, oil to break up the oil on your yeah. skin. But we wouldn't exactly use Dawn on no. our face. No, right? no, okay. no, no, yeah. no, that's not the Dawn. Yeah. <laughs> But, okay, so then when you break up oil with another oil, then water is important, but your moisturizers and your cleansers help to kind of bubble up that dead skin in a way uh -huh. that it can loosen. And I think the one thing that I've seen over the years of, of working with women is the uh, there, there are things that come on the market every 10 years that are just like, oh, these are miracle, you know, cream. miracle cream. You yes, know, it's yes. like, really? And then look why like don't we all the look, morning. yeah, why don't we look 20 years younger, you know, in the next decade. Yeah. Well, they don't work because they don't really work with the way the skin works. So when you think about your skin, we get over 10 billion new skin cells every day. And it builds up 10 billion every day, okay. every day. So if we don't take those off, then water can't get through the skin. Right. And so if you don't You're wasting take, your money on all exactly, that stuff you think is going to do like something. The serums that are so expensive, they can't go into the skin. But you don't want to wait three days to take them off because then you've got 30 billion, right? Yeah. And then you've got to use something really harsh to get them off, which damages your skin. Yeah. Like, for instance, if you burn a pan, okay? Well, you know, and this definitely happens with me, but uh, <laughs> you can take water, right? And you can take a Brillo pad, yeah. and you can try to scrub and see how the water helps to loosen it right, up. Right. But you're still not going to get the oil off, right? right. So then you have you're to smearing use, it around. Actually. Right. So then you have to break it up and see that Brillo pad will get it and clean it. But and then you can rinse it off, right? I mean, right. I'm not going to clean the whole pan. Yeah. Right. <laughs> but. Do you want to use something this harsh on your skin to take off your buildup on you your skin? You won't have any skin left. <laughs> exactly, and that's what I'm seeing, Deborah. There are alpha hydroxides and glycolic acids, and they're all over the Internet. I mean, they're all, this is unbelievable, but it eats into your new skin. And yeah. see, this is, I mean, pretend this is going to be your new skin. Right. When you get the dead skin off. It. In fact, one of the things that you've suggested in the past is, um, after you did the right cleansing, is shaving or planing Absolutely. your face. You have the, the eyebrow planer that you yes. have is great wow. for that. Wow. And that helps to lift a little bit of dead skin, but safely and right. effectively. Yeah, there are and ways, hair. but you yeah. do want to use an exfoliant that goes around, like when you're exfoliating all around your eye, on your eyelid in here. You know how we can age right in here uh -huh. and get the wrinkles? All over our neck, we have to get the dead skin off. Which, and by the way, I was going to say your skin is really beautiful, but it should be because you're the one who created all this stuff. <laughs> <laughs> well, 
it works yeah. and it has for 43 years it really works but um, you've got to get the dead skin off uh, without aggressors yeah and that is like for instance this is the honey and almond exfoliant you want to okay see what happens here why don't you just scrub that in okay. and you see it's not um, yeah. Oh. It's very creamy. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's not, not I, nothing like... When you said like, honey and almond, I thought it was going to be really abrasive, right. but it's really not. No, if you have a little bit in there. Okay, so we're just, you don't have to leave it on. You just take it right off. And when it dries, you can see that area is probably going to be a little bit lighter uh -huh. than the other side because we don't really see that we have this dead skin right, on us, right, you know, right. but it's you do if you put makeup on. You know, people will say, oh, I put that makeup on, it's really cakey. It's probably the dead skin they put it on. Oh, you know? okay, yeah. Do we want to blame the makeup for all that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now, let's see if you have a difference here. Okay. Let's, let's dry that off oh. a little bit now. Yeah, I can see a that. Little bit of yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's nice and smooth too. It feels good, and it doesn't feel dry. So a lot of times when we do exfoliants with the alpha hydroxys, or you know whatever a woman may use, right. it is an aggressor. It eats it up, but it feels dry afterwards. The other thing you said was honey and almond. You're yes. really into. There are some natural, natural. things that mm -hmm. really make the difference, right. and, and there are a lot of the um, synthetic things cause right. other problems. Oh, absolutely. That's the problem. They cause more problems later. And you know that you have to get the dead skin off, but you've got to do it daily. So the honey nomin is not abrasive. It's not yeah. an aggressor. It's not the alpha hydroxy, and it sloughs it off. And then you can put your moisture on, and you know you're getting a lot of moisture in your skin. Okay, so, so let's talk about moisture, because a lot of people will say, well, I have oily skin, so I don't need moisturizer. Right. Uh, not necessarily the case, but once we get that oil off, the dead skin off, then how do we deal with moisturizer? Is that it is the same for everyone? Point, or because no? moisturizer should be water-based, and most of them aren't, because they want you to feel like it feels silky and velvety. Mm -hmm. But uh, the moisturization that I've done for years is water-based, and then you put that on clean skin, it absorbs in, and then the high Hydrodermal intensive lift. We did clinicals on this, and it proved that it decreases fine lines up to 57%. And what clinicals means is that you did scientific right. tests, and it works. And uh, this is a thousand times its weight in water than even my moisturizer. Wow. A thousand times. And it has hyaluronic acid and peptides. So it literally absorbs into the skin really deep and smooths out the skin. And there's just a system that we have to go through in cleansing our skin, just like we yeah, cleanse anything. And in the right order. Anything. There's a reason why you have step yeah. one, step two, Absolutely. step three, right? And, and, you know, you wash your dishes, your clothes. Everything is a cycle. And yeah. I've done my skincare treatment, cleansing and nighttime wear, nine pieces. It's... It works. It's yeah. just it's just amazing. You don't have to figure anything out. You don't. Hey, it's all now that we've cleaned our face and it's all nice and fresh, we get ready to put more makeup back on it, right, the next right, day. Right. But I, I, there's something I never forgot that you told me. Right. And a lot of times people will say, oh, no, I need water-based makeup. That's better mm -hmm. for my skin, water-based makeup. But it, we're coming mm -hmm. in that time of year where it's humid, mm -hmm. it's hot, and what happens when you have water-based makeup and then you sweat? And then it, like, then your oil will come up and you'll get oilier. And that's why they think, well, I'm oily. I need a water-based yeah. makeup. Wrong. You need an oil-based makeup to lock your moisture in so when you do sweat, you don't get oily. Yeah. And your makeup stays and consistent. Stays think about, perfect. have you ever seen someone who's, they're sweating and then it, um, their, their water dehydrates and then you have splotches of pigment on oh, your yes, face, yeah. right? That's because the water dried up and went right. away, but the pigment's Pigments just left. left. And with the oil, you can make it more consistent right. and it locks in moisture. Absolutely. Yeah. And the cream kind I hate, and that's good because your face will not fall off. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, again, you you work it all out for us. The other th other component to your business is when you have your makeup is to teach us to become our own makeup artists Absolutely. and just ways to make it easy and ways to step out of the door knowing that you're always going to look good. Absolutely. You've got to know. You've got to take ownership and not be at the mercy of someone who is going to tell you, you know, to tweeze your brows and then you wind up with no brows. <laughs> Uh, you better learn to plane them because otherwise you may not have brows. I mean, there are so many things that just, you hear what we say, and we have a lot of videos online, yes. and you just go, does that make sense? And you go, gosh, yeah, I've never been told that. Well, now you have. Hey, for more information on Christy Harris's beauty line and for great tips and the tutorials that she was talking about, visit ChristyHarris.com. ChristyHarris.com. You can also call this number, 1-800-346-4599, one 800 4699 or check out Christy's YouTube channel as well. I am really 180 years old, but because of her skincare product, I just I don't look like it. All right, Christy, thank you. Then.